everyone, and welcome back to Quest for You. I am coming to you today from my home, as always, but it's cold. I'm sitting here with my cup of tea, and we are bringing this year to an end. It's unbelievable that it's already over. So, it's episode 111. 111. And we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions. I'm starting out with a quote from Turkish playwright, novelist, and thinker Mehmet Murat Ildan. What do you need in the new year? You need a dream, your dream needs an action, and your action needs right thinking. Without right thinking, you can have only unrealized dreams. And I found this quote today while I was researching the history of New Year's resolutions. It sets the stage nicely for this and a few more episodes that I want to devote to this subject as part of this. And because as I was writing and preparing this episode, it was Thanksgiving weekend, I pulled out my 2017 goals and started reading through them. For the last two to three years, I've been more serious about resolutions. Before, I mostly ignored them, or maybe I've had something in the back of my mind. But I didn't actively pursue it as a goal. So I want to spend time on resolutions. A, because the timing is right, and B, because they work. We are reaching the end of the year, and I know many of you are thinking about these resolutions. Maybe you're debating what your goal should be. Maybe you're also discouraged because they have not worked for you in the past. So I was curious where this tradition came from and how widespread it is. So first, let's define it. According to Wikipedia, a New Year's resolution is a tradition, most common in the Western Hemisphere, but also found in the Eastern Hemisphere, in which a person resolves to change an undesired trait or behavior, to accomplish a personal goal, or otherwise improve their life. The tradition is old. I have found that the ancient Babylonians are said to have been the first people to make New Year's resolutions, some 4,000 years ago. And they were also the first to hold celebrations in honor of the New Year. They made promises to the gods to pay their debts and return any objects they had borrowed. In Rome, Caesar established January 1st as the beginning of the new year. The Romans offered sacrifices to the deity and made promises of good conduct for the coming year. Ancient Egyptians celebrated the advent of their new calendar during the Nile River's annual flood. And then, for early Christians... The first day of the new year became the traditional occasion for thinking about one's past mistakes and resolving to do and be better in the future. Today we don't make promises to the gods anymore, but we make them to ourselves. We don't make physical sacrifices, but we plan on making emotional ones, by giving up bad habits, for example. In fact, the focus of most of our modern-day resolutions is on self-improvement, and that's where it should be. Many people misunderstand the purpose and the process of coming up with resolutions. They think it's something that only puts restrictions on one's life, so they rather avoid them. People that try them often wind up feeling like a failure for not succeeding. For me, resolutions have been an impetus for change, a source of strength, and a guidepost to keep my life on track. This is why I'm sharing them with you, because I want the same for you. So today, let's work on our understanding of this tradition. You now know where it came from. Let's dissolve some of the common misconceptions and take a fresh look at the potential these resolutions can offer for our life. Number one, I would say, let's not ignore the tradition. While there is no law that binds us on keeping up old traditions, I like to respect them. I grew up with traditions and Although they don't always make sense to us today, they are our connection with our past and they give us a sense of belonging. 
The routines around these traditions can provide us with a sense of community. They can give us grounding and a sense of place. People all over the world enjoy their traditions and I feel they add richness to our lives. I still remember my first New Year's Eve in Mexico. I was there for work and one of my colleagues and now best friend invited me to celebrate it at her house. When the countdown began, a cup with 12 grapes appeared in front of me. Eating them one by one symbolizes our hopes for the months ahead. I love this tradition, which is popular in many Spanish-speaking countries. In many parts of the world, traditional New Year celebrations involve special foods and dishes. Legumes are common because they are thought to resemble coins and bring future financial success. There are lentils in Italy, black-eyed peas in the south of this country. Pigs represent progress and prosperity in some cultures. So pork is a common dish that appears on the New Year's Eve table in, in Cuba, Austria, Hungary, Portugal and other countries. Ring-shaped cakes and pastries in the Netherlands and Greece are a sign that the year has come full circle. And many countries watch fireworks, which welcome the new year. The common theme everywhere seems to be an anticipation of the new year, combined with hopes for better times. So let's keep this old custom in the back of our minds as we're talking about the topic. The aim is genuine and simple, to celebrate a new year and to show some gratitude towards life by improving upon it. What's not to like about this? Which brings me to the next consideration. What really is a resolution? A formal expression of opinion or intention made? So it's an intention. The act of resolving or determining a course of action, method or procedure. A plan. A decision or determination to do something. Which is an action. And the mental state of being resolute. Meaning a purpose. So I find this quite amazing. A resolution is your intent to follow up on a plan with action and purpose. It's like a goal. And that's why I use these words interchangeably. There is a lot to the word resolution. But what I don't see here is what many other people think it is. Rigid concepts, black or white ideas that keep you locked in with a pass or fail mentality. When in fact, what I read in the word is simply a proposal to make a change. Maybe to solve a problem, to find a new solution, to do something better, more consciously. It's not rigid, but fluid. It's an attempt to try something new. It's an opportunity. Which leads me to number three. What does this mean to you personally? Well, let's think, how often do we pause, sit back and look at our life? I mean, really, take stock and evaluate. Where am I on my path? Do I like my progress? Where do I want to be? And what is not working? Resolutions are a chance to hit the reset button. Not to start over completely, but to address some of the more serious aspects of our life. These don't have to be dysfunctional aspects. Maybe... We just want to show improvement. It's an opportunity to become more deliberate and hands-on with the course of our life. It's the chance to think about the kind of person we want to be and the life that we want to live. Often, time just flies by. We rush from one thing to the next. We don't take the time to think about our life. So the beginning of the new year is a great way to do this. So we've come full circle. An ancient tradition that is still kept by many can have a huge impact on your life if you decide to adopt it. Resolutions can be your start to becoming the person you want to be and living the life of your dreams. I know this is a bold statement, but for me, it holds truth. I have accomplished much in my life, but I've never been so focused on actually being a better human being than since I started with clear and focused resolutions. So now that you know what resolutions are, where they came from, we will focus on making them work for you. So stay on the lookout for the next episode on this topic, where we will take this a step further into some actionable suggestions. For today, 
I simply want to encourage you. Start thinking about a resolution, just one for 2018. Your goal should center on adding value to your life and helping you become a better person. Remember our quote from the beginning? What do you need in the new year? You need a dream. Your dream needs an action. And your action needs right thinking. Without right thinking, you can have only unrealized dreams. Thinking, action, dream. So start thinking now. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Have an amazing day. Much love.